How will I know if I'm on my high flying disc? How will I know? Because you won't know it first. You won't know till you get there. Then it will be really obvious. So if you don't know, you're not. Okay. It'll, but it'll feel really good, though. It'll feel guessing. like fresh air. It will feel like like hearted. It will feel like elation. It will feel like clarity. It just feels good. But you see, it's relative. Everything is relative. And so at first you'll reach for the high flying disc and you will reach a higher flying disc and it will feel better, but it won't be the highest of flying discs, but it's an improvement. And then as you keep reaching for the higher flying disc, it will be an improvement until eventually it's the sustaining of it. Are any of you playing with this high flying disc? Are you feeling the difference in your experience? And would you say that the word clarity is a big piece in the feeling clarity it really is the feeling of the absence of resistance because you see on any of those other discs even though let's start with despair tremendous resistance in despair fear tremendous resistance in fear revenge slightly less resistance in revenge anger slightly less resistance in anger frustration quite a bit less resistance in frustration overwhelmment pretty close to frustration hopefulness big jump much less resistance in hopefulness believing way less resistance that's a big jump from hope to to belief so when you get into those categories that we're describing as hope and belief and knowing that feels like sureness feels like confidence it feels like certainty it feels like clarity it feels like passion it feels like enthusiasm it feels like laughter it feels like fun it feels like jovial it feels like upliftment it feels like light-hearted it feels like easy it feels like funny it feels like love it feels like appreciation so when you get into those emotions that feel like that you only know it because you've had the comparative experience you see what we're getting at so achieving that you can all do that we could tell you a story right now and if we held you in concentration for a minute or two or three or four or five we would bring you unquestionably to a feeling of love and appreciation that's what those rampages are that we all get on together every now and again for sure for sure for sure for sure but it's the sustaining of it that is really what we're asking you to reach for because the sustaining of it in this day in this day in this day makes your propensity for it greater tomorrow and then the sustaining of it tomorrow makes your propensity for it greater the next day until it just becomes so natural for you that it just feels odd when you're off so that if someone presents something to you that initially feels good and you acknowledge how you usually feel and you identify with specifics what feeling good really 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 is then you can feel the offness of anything you'll get to the place where you'll just know when a person enters your experience whether you want to proceed or withdraw you'll know when any idea that they are presenting enters your experience whether you're wanting to proceed or withdraw and your initial response to it is almost without question the right one so the more mornings that you wake up with the intention of clarifying your vibration and being in that good feeling place then the more anything that is off from that will stick out like a sore thumb it really is that simple we're not for a moment wanting to guide you away from thoughts that may have some resistance within them we're trying to guide you to knowing the difference your question is the perfect state of being that we want you to be in we want you to care about whether to move forward with this or not we want you to care about the emotion within it we want you to be able to consciously and personally discern it you see because by the time you ask somebody else the moment is past these rendezvous they're junctures that are always opening for you so it's like a series of paths constantly opening and when you've been in a consistent vibration the path just opens and 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 not only leads you 
pretty swiftly to where you want to be but it's really a delightful journey on your way to where you want to be and the same thing is happening with the paths that are opening to things you don't want and we just think it would be a really nice thing and it's ridiculous for it to be any other way for you we want you to know which path you're on and we want you to know at the beginning of the path we don't think you should have to get so far down the path with so much discomfort under your belt before you realize so picture this did you get a sort of picture of that the paths so let's say you have enough momentum going that this path is lighting up, 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 lighting up. You're having a pretty good time, pretty good time, a good time, a good time, good time, good time, good time. And it leads to things that when they manifest, you like them. Then there's this other path because you've been complaining and you've been worrying about that. And so this path lights up for you too. It's like the universe says, oh, you like that? will come this way there's more of it oh you like that will come this way there's more of it oh you like that will come this way there's more of that oh you like that will come this way there's more of that or the universe is also saying oh you don't like that will come this way there's more of that oh you don't like that either will come this way there's more of that oh you don't like that either will come this way there's more of that well you don't like that will come this way there's more of that at any point along these paths oh come this way there's more of that you can say oh wait a minute wait a minute I remember what high flying felt like I remember that train of thought that I had that felt better and you can be along that path remember what that path felt like and that path begins to turn and lead you back over to this path it really is that way with all kinds of converging rendezvousing thoughts and people and comments and circumstances and events so your question is a good one and this is what we heard you say Abraham how far along my negative path do you think I should go before I decide before I decide to do something different that's what we heard you say and our answer is not that far not that far because because there's a momentum there's a momentum in the path there's a momentum that will carry you until sometimes and that's why we've been saying to our friends recently when you realize that you're on that path and you don't have the presence of mind to do something about changing the direction of it take a nap take a nap or meditate do something very different from what you're doing but don't keep talking to that person in the way you're talking to them about the things that you're talking about don't continue whatever's going on because it's just gonna lead to more and more and more Esther when she first began really hearing us about a hundred times a day we heard her say shut up Esther and she was just talking about her own mind or she would say that's unnecessary that's unnecessary and unproductive just sort of talking to herself as she became aware that there was momentum on some thoughts in some directions that were not serving her we're not going to lead to where she wanted to go but we'd like to talk about the paths in vivid enough terms that we can really get your attention on this so you accept that here you stand and let's say there's a path maybe a convoluted path leading to something fantastic got the picture and there's a path maybe a sort of convoluted path meaning lots of twists and turns in it leading to something you really aren't gonna like when you get there got the picture this path feels good every step of the way this path feels bad every step of the way so maybe we're finding a way to say to you something that we've been saying to you for a long time sure the manifestation is something that you care about and it's coming wanted or unwanted the manifestation is coming from the path that you're on but it really is being on the path that's the reason that you're here you see so if somebody said to you there is no final destination there is no final destination <laughs> if someone said to you you're eternal you're eternal <laughs> there's no final destination you are eternal but you have the choice of feeling good now on your way to never getting it done or you have the choice 
of feeling bad on your way to never getting it done which do you choose and if you can take the destination out of it and just choose the path the path the good feeling path or the not good feeling path then everything gets simpler because it's the fixation on the destination and the fact that the destination hasn't manifested yet that is the reason that you're on that path that was so good we are so we are, we are, we are, we are, we're gonna say it again we're gonna say it again in another way your fixation on the manifestation and your keen awareness of the fact that it hasn't manifested yet is the reason that you introduce the resistance into the equation which is what puts you on that not good feeling path did you get that so we've been saying to you for a while take the money out of the equation take the end result out of the equation and that's what this determination to get on the high flying disc is what are you doing today I'm getting on the high flying disc why because I like being on the high flying disc well but what does that mean it means I feel really good on the high flying disc but where does it lead to it doesn't matter because I'm on the high flying disc well why do you do it because it feels so good to be on the high flying disc but what does it get you feeling good on the high flying disc but where are you going with that it doesn't matter because I'm on the high flying disc but why do you do it because it feels so good to be on the high flying disc but where is it leading it doesn't matter I'm on the high flying disc but where is it leading to more good feeling things like what well, it doesn't matter because I'm on the high flying disc and we know that just seems ridiculous in this world where you have planned and set goals and been deliberate and gone to school and got grades and have all kinds of people that are analyzing everything that you do in relationship to everything that everybody else is doing and we say stop it stop comparing yourself to everything and compare yourself to only one thing which is your relationship with your source and your source is on the high flying disc so this is what we really want to say those of you who've been listening to us for a while are about to have a breakthrough so just sort of focus in here and hear this so we've been talking to you about the vortex that you've been launching the vibrational reality have you been following that you know what you don't want you know what you do want which causes you to launch a rocket and it creates this vortex and today we told you that you've been launching these thoughts and creating these vibrational vortices these vibrational realities on both wanted and unwanted things but the source within you the source from which you came and the source who has been expanding and evolving as a result of your exposure to life here has been tending and tuning and orchestrating and tending to this high flying vortex which is who you really are all that you've become so that the source within you is on that high flying disc you could not have asked a better question how do I know when I'm on it you come into alignment with who you really are when you're on the fearful desk you come into alignment with the fearful thoughts you thought and you come into alignment with other people who have thought those same fearful thoughts and you come into alignment with experiences that aren't fun when they come that bring you fear when you think about them or when you experience them when you're on the frustration disc you rendezvous with others who are frustrated and you rendezvous with bad traffic and incoherent others you rendezvous with disorganized others but you don't rendezvous with the source within you on the honorary disc and you don't rendezvous with the source within you on the fearful disc and you don't rendezvous with the source within you on the hopeful disc you rendezvous with the source within you on the high flying disc you see that's how you know that's how you know when you consistently rendezvous there and you begin thinking thoughts you begin to feel energy moving through your body visceral energy you can actually feel Esther is sitting writing on her focus wheel with her magic pen and waving her pen around in the air and it feels to her as if she has the power of the universe and she does if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next